Good night stories for Rebel Girls. Hi Rebels, this is Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, the interview. I'm Taya Dix, and on this episode, we're talking to Emily Calandrelli. She told us the story of Mae Jemison, the first black woman in space. It's really good, so make sure you give it a listen. And you can catch Emily on her show, Emily's Wonder Lab, on Netflix. Go check it out. Hi, Emily. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Emily Calandrelli. On the internet, I'm known as the Space Gal. I'm an MIT aerospace engineer turned science communicator. So I do science television shows. I talk about science on social media. I'm all about making science fun and exciting for everyone. That's so cool. When did you fall in love with space? So for me, I came to this passion much later in life. I became obsessed with space when I got to college and I learned that as a student, you can fly on something called the Vomit Comet, which is the same type of plane Mae Jemison trained in to fly in weightlessness, fly in zero gravity. And I learned that if you studied aerospace engineering, you could design an experiment with your friends and fly on the Vomit Comet for free. And so that's what initially got me really excited excited about space. There are a lot of exciting times in space exploration, but what makes it exciting right now? I like to tell people that I think that the space industry is more exciting today than it has ever been in history, and that's because there are more people doing more things in space than there have ever been before. Before, it was just really big countries that were exploring space but now we have private space companies all over the world sending things into space. We have schools, we have students as young as elementary school age uh, students sending satellites into space. We have people trying to do asteroid mining or um, trying to do space hotels and all of this research going on on the International Space Station. It's just a very, very exciting time. When May got interested in science, there weren't a lot of role models for her. Why do you think it's so important for science and technology to be welcoming for everyone? Yeah, well, I like to tell people if science and technology are designed to be used by everyone, then you need people with different backgrounds and different experiences at the table, in the lab, behind the computer, making the decisions as to how that science is made and how that technology is developed. Because if you don't, then that technology may not be safe for everyone. It may not be efficient for everyone. We need lots of girls in science just to make it more innovative. Emily, if you could go back and give yourself some advice when you were my age, what would you say? If I could go back to my younger self, I would tell her to not be afraid to fail. I think growing up, I was really afraid of failure. But what I've learned is that failure is a wonderful thing. It means that you've tried something challenging. It means that you're learning. It means that you're growing and you're doing better. And I would encourage people to not be afraid of failure because failure just means you're learning. And anytime you're learning, it's a good thing. Finally, what makes you a rebel girl? I mean, I think just existing in a male dominated field makes me feel like a little bit like a rebel girl. Like I'm doing something that maybe I shouldn't or that maybe other people think that I shouldn't, but it makes me feel brave and powerful and emboldened to keep going. That's awesome. Thank you, Emily. And thank you for listening. If you like the show, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen and share it with all of your friends. Catch you next time. Stay Rebel!